Well, with the exception of a few good days back in October, natural snow hasn't really graced our ski resorts here in Utah just yet. However, earlier this week, Ski Utah held their annual season opening event to announce some changes heading into the winter months and to get people fired up to hit the slopes. This time last year, we were wondering whether we were even going to open or not. The uncertainty surrounding the pandemic in Utah ski and snowboard industry worked itself out on its own last season. According to Ski Utah's Nathan Rafferty, nationally last season there was an all-time record for participating skiers and riders with 10.5 million across the country. Resorts here in Utah saw a record of their own. We had an all-time high in terms of, uh, in terms of participation, 5.3 million skier visits. Looking ahead at the upcoming season, resorts in Utah have done a number of upgrades from parking improvements at Deer Valley, Sundance and Snow Basin to new lifts taking skiers and riders to new heights. There was a three person lift that was almost 50 years old. It's being replaced with Middable Express. Um, the capacity will double from three to six and the ride time will shorten from 12 minutes to under six minutes. Other areas like Alta, Brian Head, Eagle Point, among others, have made improvements with snowmaking and some will continue to depend on the greatest snow on earth. We just wait for the real stuff. We believe that the snow surface is so much better, less water content in it, a little softer snow, and people enjoy that. A few resorts are celebrating monumental milestones this year, such as Powder Mountain and Snowbird, highlighting 50 years in operation. Of course, you can't look ahead without wondering about COVID-19. There are many different protocols indoors at some of the ski areas. I think it's a really safe bet to tuck a mask in your pocket and make sure you know what the protocols at the various resorts are because they're really going to vary this year. Pretty cool. Some resorts expected to open later this week, believe it or not. Also this upcoming week, Ski Utah is holding a gear donation event at their headquarters in Salt Lake City. The goal is to get historically underrepresented demographics into the sport of skiing and riding and ski gear can be a barrier for that. Now they are asking for donations of new or gently used ski jackets, pants, helmets, goggles, gloves, everything you need to hit the slopes. If you'd like to learn more about this, you can find it at fox13now.com. Another upgrade for the upcoming season, Brighton Resort has expanded their night skiing and riding terrain. They've added 60 additional lights to runs off of the Snake Creek Express Lift. The addition now makes it 22 total runs, more than 200 skiable acres at night. However, Brighton has not yet announced when they will open for the season.